are your con uh, company is kind of going through all the supply chain disruptions or if it has affected you at all? I have a supply chain experience, right? Uh, more than 30 years in the industry. Uh, worked for many great organizations like IBM, Microsoft, uh, and Wipro, where I was heading the global procurement. And uh, right now I head the supply chain globally for Tata Communications. Uh, yes, I think the, the pandemic has brought uh, a lot of challenges. Uh, we are going through, a, uh, like anybody else, the supply chain, uh, you know, uh, constraints. You know, if I put it that way. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, we are trying to figure out how do we manage this situation. So, you know, by looking at various options, uh, you know, looking at a, a alternate suppliers, uh, alternate products, actually deployment, uh, you know, stocking the inventory. Uh, ahead of, uh, you know, to fulfill some of the customer uh, requirements. So uh, by, by you know, reusing some of our existing equipment, you know, if something is coming back from the customers, you know, through the contract uh, expiries, we're trying to reuse some of those materials to kind of, uh, you know, sustain our operations and the fulfillment obligations to the customers. But uh, yes, uh, that's, that's how we are kind of managing the current situation. Right. Speaking about spend management, let me get an idea about how you have kind of envisaged uh, technology when it comes to spend management and how do you see it kind of figuring out in the future also? Could you give us an idea about that? Well, spend management, I think uh, we have adopted one of uh, SAP's products. Uh, you know, it's, it's very important to get the uh, spend visibility across the board, uh, you know, to eat every stakeholder in the, in the, in the chain, uh, you know, to understand, you know, uh, you know, the status of their own process, actually, be it a requester or a, or a, or a supplier. Uh, so we have uh, kind of implemented that system. It gives you visibility. And also it gives you visibility on where we are spending the money, right? So who are we spending the money? Uh, you know, how are we spending it? So it, it, it kind of helps you to analyze and probably put some, you know, good go sourcing strategies that thus you drive some savings around it, right? So, and also this, these tools also help you to kind of manage those spends, you know, uh, I would call that as a spend compliance management, um, making sure that your uh, strategies are implemented as it designed to be. Uh, that I think kind of helps you to make sure that there's no leakage of savings, right? So though, so that's how we are we are kind of managing the uh, spend in the organization. Right, uh, Shiva. Next up, I would like to kind of draw your attention to sustainability. That has been the buzzword of the town right now, and uh, I would like to know from your perspective how are sustainability initiatives, sustainability initiatives, and in the uh, supply chain and procurement side of things, kind of. Uh, coming across in Tata Telecommunications, of I think uh, Tata Communication is uh, completely committed to the, you know, the sustainability part of it. And uh, in fact, we have won uh, quite a few awards, uh, you know, in the recent times. Uh, our, our supply chain also is is uh, helping that cause actually from that perspective. Uh, so what we do is we have kind of framed a supply chain system sustainability framework in the organization, which also consists of, uh, you know, the uh, supply chain uh, uh, sustainability policy. Uh, then we also talk about supplier code of contract, you know, which, uh, you know, kind of we signed with uh, you know, quite a few our critical, you know, the key partners uh, to let them know our commitment to this cause and the sustainability and and uh, you know in turn we are asking them to adhere to some of the principles that we believe in, uh, in when when they are servicing uh, to us as a customer uh, so apart from that we are also trying to look at some few sourcing strategies which kind of puts you uh, you know helps you cause of either social or environmental causes an example green power that we procure uh, more uh, you know Carbon neutral uh, transportation is what you know we will buy. You know, so we are doing a bit whatever we can to kind of help the uh, environment. Uh, and on top of that, what we do is normally when we go for a large bids, uh, uh, you know, typically they are assessed based on technical and commercial, you know, parameters. But I think now 
part of this you know sustainability framework and we have put in place is that you know even sustainability would be you know be part of the devaluation process right so it would right. be one of the criteria that we would assess while we are awarding the business to our partners so i think from that perspective yes absolutely you know tata communication is committed and uh, this is how supply chain is contributing to our organization right uh, next up i would like to ask you about another buzzword that is uh, the talk of the town right now but i'm not quite sure about how it's kind of working out in india so let me ask you about the big r word that is recession that's how do you think that it's going to work out is it going to impact india as much as it's going to impact us everyone is preparing for it in us so what is it for you in the present scenario well i mean i'm not sure about uh, recession in india directly if you look at our growth as a country it has been fabulous as compared to any other countries in the world uh, we may have uh, some impact because of the international because a lot of international companies have presence in india right. i mean it it can cause you know some uh, ripples but i personally believe it's not going to be a lot in india right. uh, but we are a global company but uh, so far we have not seen much of you know pinch around that actually our customers are still keen to transform the digital journey and we have been working with a lot of customers globally uh, we haven't seen anything yet so i i can't really predict what's going to happen right. in the future but at this point in time uh, I, we are not seeing up any any uh, you know pinch of any decision right shiva thanks for taking the time out and giving some honest opinions on a lot of things of course thanks for doing this thank for you us. pleasure pleasure yeah. to be here